Business owners and committee of directors at Ibru Port Complex in the Apapa area of Lagos State have embarked on palliative repairs on Apapa Oshudi Expressway. The project, which is jointly funded by all stakeholders operating in the area, will be carried out on both carriageways and service lanes. Energy correspondent Tululokwa Gunjobi has details. Late last year, members of the organized private sector raised an alarm over the bad state of access roads to the Apapa ports and jetties across the area. They say this ugly development is affecting overhead cost of business, leading to huge loss of revenue, loss of jobs, and outright closure of some businesses operating in the area. Business owners across the area are now worried about the state of the road as it gets worse by the day. It is terrible. It is terrible. Uh, many vessels could not come into the jetty because of the fact that they could not remove their products from the tanks uh, because trucks could not come in to carry the products to go out. Inevitably, uh, some other people who are, have other tanks in less convenient places have been getting the business that would have been coming over here. Now, we have one of the largest um, tanks farms in, in total. Total is right there. For a while, they stopped bringing vessels uh, here at all. They've only just started again because they've also contributed to this laudable project. And uh, it's encouraging, I think, for everybody to see that we mean business. Ibru means business. Like PMS now, if uh, this place is good and we are being given products, like uh, let's say we are having like uh, 20 to 30 million for insurance depot, we can move out nothing like 80 million liters on a daily basis. So if this road is done now, definitely it's going to assist government a lot in the getting the product to the customers and the users. While they continue to wait for government to help address this challenge that has nearly brought businesses around the locality to a halt, the operators have now come out to speak with one voice. They have decided to take the bulls by the horns. Palliative repairs from sunrise to coconut section of the road is now being carried out with joint efforts of business owners across the axis. The degradation and the fact that I on the bridge, I'm stuck sometimes at night and the bridge is shaking. Now, if it collapses, I'm going down. And everybody underneath me is going to be wiped away as well. And it's not just me. And it concerns the people who don't even live in Lagos because they have children who live here. They have um, relatives who live here. So it could be devastating for the whole country. And uh, last but not by means least, uh, means least, the ports are here. How do we get these things out of the ports to other Nigerians and to other parts of the states? Because of the dilapidated situation of this road and the uh, effect on our business, the committee of directors of the depots within this axis have taken it upon themselves to put on their money to ensure the palliative measure is being carried out on this road. We are going to put a concrete reinforcement of the road that will last the next two years or three years. The operators want the federal government, in collaboration with the Lagos State government, to pay serious attention to the road leading to the nation's seaports and all depots before it further degenerates. Tolu Lokbe Ogunjobi, TVC News, Lagos.